Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Most of us in the fountain pen world know that Lamy every year produces one or two special editions. Uh, normally a, a, a range of special editions, but there's always like a special edition uh, All-Star and a special edition Safari. And this year the special edition uh, All-Star is the Bronze. Now, this is a new pen in my hands today. Uh, so this is not a review of the pen, just a, I really wanted to sort of show you what the bronze actually looks like. So this is gonna be a relatively quick video. I'm gonna show you the pen, I'm gonna show you the ink, uh, and then I'll do a little writing sample, but you know, it's not indicative of the brand because they do have uh, very easily interchangeable nibs and the nib that came on this one is a little bit scratchy, so I will be changing it out for another one. Now I got this from Apple Boom Pen and uh, decent sort of service and all of that sort of stuff, decent prices. Um, so yes, this is the, the bronze. Now, it is quite a light bronze. It's sort of, I would consider sort of almost slightly a rose gold sort of color. Um, but I thought what I'd do is I'd do a comparison with a couple of other pens just to give you an idea as to what it looked like. Um, but firstly, standard Safari All-Star triangular grip there and the standard um, clip and the cross feature on the, uh, end, on the cap there. Ink windows, it is a cartridge converter pen. You can get cartridges. I got the converter to allow me to use bottled ink and it is inked with Lamy Bronze. Um, so it is the standard everyday all-star uh, and this is the color for this year. So let's look at it in comparison to a couple of other pens just in terms of color. So uh, I thought I'd start with the all-star copper uh, because a lot of people were concerned it was gonna be very close. As you can see, it is very, very different. Uh, another orange pen people know well is the Diplomat Aero. Um, I thought just for size comparison, not color comparison of course, but the Lamy Safari, just because a lot of people sort of know that pen, you can see that the All Star and Safari are very similar in size. Then I have here, and I'll just move this over just um, to allow for a couple of other pens. We have here the uh, Lamy Studio in the Terracotta. You can see once again, much darker. Uh, and then because it's the bronze capacity uh, nature of this pen, I thought I'd put the Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Age there. Now this is for a particular reason. A lot of people are complaining that this is way too light to be bronze. Um, not complaining, just stating. Now if we look at these in close detail, up close in sort of the same light, everything's next to each other, it might be a little light for bronze, it might be sort of a little yellow or this is sort of a more sort of rosy gold sort of colour, but it's not far off really if you look at the bronze trim on the Homo Sapiens there. So I don't think it's terribly bad. I actually quite like the colour. It's not um, a sort of colour that I would normally get for a pen, but uh, you know how these Lamy uh, editions are. So let's look at the ink now. So it comes in two forms, in bottled form and in cartridges. Now, uh, if we, just for the sake of the exercise here, we have the copper orange cartridges and the Lamy orange cartridges. So you can see even from the packaging that the, uh, the colors are, are different um, on the packaging. So the idea, uh, one other thing that people said was that this was just a rebranded Lamy Orange or Lamy Copper. Now I'm gonna show you a couple of things. Firstly, here is Lamy Bronze on Rhodia paper. You can see it has a lot of shading. It goes from very light through to quite rich dark oranges not bronze this is not a this is an orange ink uh i don't think it necessarily represents uh bronze overly well here is the ink then on tomo river paper and then in a writing sample from the pen it's quite light uh and it, uh, that nib is a little bit drier as you'll see in the writing sample in just a moment as well but you can see here on tomo river it is a quite light ink there's a little bit of sort of nice dark shading but it is a light sort of pale orange ink um, now, I'm going to do a writing sample in just a second, but I thought I'd show you a few other inks just in comparison because it's worth looking at. So this is Lamy Bronze. Okay, here we have Diamine Pumpkin, which is a very sort of strong orange. Monteverde Mandarin Orange, which is a dark orange. Apache Sunset for some of the sort of the, the similarities in the shading. And here we have Ancient Copper, which a lot of people said this is what people think of when they think of bronze. Now for me, if I just want to get hold up that uh, Visconti bronze, that's a very dark bronze, sort of like a classical bronze, tarnished bronze almost in, in that sort of way, the ancient sort of feel of it. And then here I have Lamy Orange, Lamy Bronze, and of course Lamy Copper. So you can see the three, uh, uh, Copper Orange, 
see the three different sort of versions of the orange. So it is a unique color. It has been reformulated. It's not just a rebranding like, say, the uh, Pacific uh, was of the turquoise. But let's do a quick uh, writing sample now and see just how it looks on paper in this medium nib. As this is a fairly dry, almost scratchy one, this is, but this is what came on the pen, so it's what I've left on here. This is a medium. And the ink, as I said, is Lamy bronze so this is rhodia paper so this is the paper that we're going to sort of the standard if you will um as you can see this isn't the wettest um well, it's laying down a decent line it's just a little bit sort of scratchy but um as you can probably hear there now the pen does come provided with a blue cartridge but uh if you're like me you've probably got a drawer full of these now uh but yes this is the this is the lamy bronze and so there you can see lightish colored ink uh nice sort of color that's ignore that um but yeah so it's it, you know, it's not bad. It's sort of, it's got some shading. It's got a little bit of depth to it. I think in a really wet nib, this would look quite nice if you start to get some of this sort of shading happening. Uh, but in this sort of slightly drier, perhaps all-star nib, I have written that so badly. I just realized all-star. There we go. That's better. All-star, not at start. Um, so yeah, it, you know, it's a, it's a nice color. It does the job. I think, you know, if you're looking for something vibrant and, and rich and saturated, this might not be the ink for you. And likewise, if you're looking for a, a really bronzy, sort of dark, almost that ancient copper sort of bronze, this isn't going to be the match for you either. As you can see from the, the copper uh, orange pen, it is quite light. So it's sort of almost like a rose gold. There is the Lamy, uh, is it LX, I think, that has a similar sort of rose goldy sort of color to this. Uh, so yeah, but worth checking out. And this was the... All-Star, Lamy All-Star 2019 Special Edition Bronze. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Uh, please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at, at the underscore offstage underscore me. Uh, you can message me there or on my email or on any of my videos here on YouTube if you've got uh, questions or products you think I should be looking at. If you've got ways you'd like to support the channel, uh, please get in touch uh, and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you later.